Hey, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub. In this video, we will explore uh, the block inserter uh, of the Gutenberg editor and and see what it offers us and how to work with it. So the block inserter uh, appears when you click on the add block button uh, from the top and it is divided into uh, different parts. For example, the, on the top we have a search box where you can search for a particular blog you are looking for rather than exploring them uh, manually. For example, if I'm uh, looking for a gallery blog, I can just start typing gallery and it uh, filters down the list of blogs to uh, instantly or, uh, or at the same time I keep writing it uh, in the search bar. So it's pretty quick. Uh, so this is what the search box is for. Now uh, below that you see that the the window is uh, divided into three tabs or three parts. The first one is the blocks, which displays all the available blocks we have uh, currently available, and the blocks are divided into different categories. For example, uh, it shows me on the top is the text blocks. So all these blocks are uh, bundled or categorized under the text blocks, text category. Another uh, category is the media category which uh, bundle these blocks. Uh, or, and by the way, all these are core blocks right now which you see. Uh, and the category is design, widgets and there are more. Uh, additionally, beside these core block categories, you can also see uh, sections or panels or categories for individual plugins uh, a third party plugin i must say uh, that you install so the plugins also add their own uh, list here so this window uh, differ uh, depending on the plugins you you have installed uh, when you hover over a block it shows you a little preview which you can see uh, on the right side uh it shows you a little preview or uh, so that you can uh, visually see what you are going to get when you insert this block uh, for example uh, this headline this list block all are showing me a little preview uh, maybe uh, some blocks do not show you uh, an accurate preview but this is for example this this gallery block is showing me th two images th this does not mean uh, it will add those images as well. For example, if I click it, it gives me this block. So it's not accurate and some third-party blocks may also uh, do not show any preview and the preview is missing from there. So like this, it will display you a no preview available message if a block uh, is missing the preview element uh, by the developer. So if you click on this simply the block will get inserted so this is how the block window works another part of the inserter is the patterns patterns uh, i will explain uh, uh, properly in another window uh, another video but it is simply a collection of blocks or you can say a design section or template a section template which you can click and it inserts uh, it into the editor. As you can see, this is a collection of blocks. The main one is the cover block. Uh, let me show you from the block navigation. Under this, uh, uh, inside this, uh, we have a columns block, and then inside the columns block, we have a paragraph block here, and then we have a read more or a button block. So the patterns simply are the collection of uh, collection of blocks or you can say section templates which are available uh, in Gutenberg and these are some core templates you are uh, looking you are seeing in this video but depending on the plugins you are using you, this list may vary and you can have more templates here or patterns the last uh, tab in the inserter window is called reusable this reusable uh, functionality of Gutenberg is uh, what makes it more powerful you can make any uh, content or a group of content or, or blocks into reusable blocks for example 
let me save this one uh, quickly uh, i'll explain all about this in another video but i'm just showing you a quick overview so i can make it a reusable block and give it a name uh, something and it appears in the reusable panel right here as you can see uh, so it the reusable uh, tab holds all my saved content or collection of blocks or a single block whatever uh, that I can uh, insert in any other page or post on the same website so this is what the blog inserter window offers us and I hope I have explained everything uh, to you hope you find this video useful please make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you